hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel excel vb expert in today's video we are going to solve top 5 mis interview questions all right so let's start to solve in question number one here you guys can see i do have you know some data in a column and in each cell i have one date you know you will be able to see but date position is not actually defined some you know in few cells the date is coming at the end and few days are coming in the beginning middle and the position actually are not defined all i want to say is so we need to extract the date okay in b column that's what actually we need to do how we can do it see today's question whatever the question we will be solving today these are the question which will have you know some uniqueness all right so let's start to solve it so here what i need to do we need to you know we need to here you know find out the one common thing okay in all the sentences you know on the, all the data which we have in a, a column here i can you know identify one thing that i do have i do have a date in a same format d d m m m y y y y all right so let's start to one common thing we have found okay let's start to solve it on the basis of the same i'm using mid all right in the mid text would be this start number you know the start number we need to define here we will be doing search we will be searching the format of the date okay the date format is one you know question mark we need to put here question mark okay hyphen the date for according to according to the date format and march march you know for the march the three times m okay instead of m we need to put here question mark one two three all right and for the year we need to put it four times four times question mark one two three four that's it okay and within this text all right start number see whatever the date we have you know it you know always the date length is 10 right so here number of character we want is 10 and press simply enter wherever you know no matter okay where we have a date in the in the in the in the data right we just you know need to use this formula and we will definitely get our output you know you will be able to see right question mark is basically you know, denoting here something okay and unknown thing but the format you know question mark question mark, when we don't know what can be the date date can be changed date can be 12 march first jan 30 okay 23rd of feb you know 12 december the date actually is not defined this is why we are using here question mark I hope guys you have understood it still if you have a doubt so please do let me know in the comment box let's solve let's solve question number two this is not the question here 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 if i will tell you just show me okay how many rows we have of cd here you can see the account type here okay in account type i do have ira cd checking and savings if i want if i would tell you just filter out the saving and let me know how many how many savings you know data we do have right so what actually the people do put the filter like this and go here <clears throat> all right and we select the saving and okay and this is how we do calculate and we count eight row, row eight rows we do have so in order to reduce the efforts of the user what else we can do to achieve the same okay so here for example that i want to see the saving data so i just need to click here right click or go to the filter in the filter you will be able to see filter by selected cell value simple okay here user actually nothing to you know worry key how to put filter you know how to put filter what is the shortcut key and after that we will be selecting thus you know criteria manually no what we need to do directly we just you know whatever the things we want to filter right click on that particular word and you know filter go to the filter and filter by selected cell simple okay so this is something which the today's people you know are actually not aware of few very few people's you know are aware of from this feature all right so this feature you know something which is very very good okay it's my experience because i do use it you know very much time when i am in hurry all right and this actually becomes you know powerful and very very good thing for you okay when you actually you know are running very late or you're in a hurry and you need to prepare some data and but still you need to do some lot of analysis and in order to you know doing that work faster and in order to making that work faster you know these are the small thing you know helps you a lot all right let's solve question number three in the question number three what we do have here you guys can see i do have a data in data in h column you will be able to see the age 
right if i would put the filter now see what i want what i actually want i want to create a bucket here okay i want to create a bucket i want to know okay between 5 to 10 okay between in age of 5 to 10 how many people we do have for example 4 in age of 11 between 11 to 11 to 15 okay how many people we do have in this age so this is what actually we need to create in pivot table all right so just you know create the pivot table alt nvt and in existing seat select any cell here okay you know drag the age in rows and agent will be in values so here we are able to see okay okay the people who has okay in age of 10 we do have one person okay and uh, the people who is 12 years old okay and we do have only one person okay and in age of 20 in age of 21 22 24 and 30 you will be able to see we do have the people okay two people we do have on these ages right so what i what i want to do is i just want to you know create the bucket here so click on the pivot table click on the pivot table anywhere in the pivot table pivot table analyze you need to go in group field right and you know the starting and ending it would be you know automatic it will automatically detect if you will look at in the pv table so you will be able to see the top value is coming 10 so automatically automatically this feature actually detected uh, detected by itself the starting is starting from 10 and ending at 30 right so you here you will have to define okay as per your requirement however you want to create the bucket for example i want to put here 5 and by 5 so what by by will be the gap all right so if i will click on okay you will be able to see the bucket 10 to 4 okay 10 to 4 it means there is a 5 gap okay this is why i have chosen there 5 okay where we do have where we had a option of buy again if i will show you here again if i will show you here group field starting and ending is automatically automatically detected by itself okay if i would put here 5 and buy buy it will be the gap right it will be the gap 5 and okay so you will be able to say between 10 to 14 okay between okay in the between age of 10 to 14 we do have five peoples okay between 15 to 90 we do have a four people between 20 to 24 we do have seven between 25 to 30 we do have four people okay this is how that we we guys you know we guys actually can create the bucket okay very effectively actually and that feature actually i liked a lot all right I hope guys you have you know understood instead of putting lot of formulas lot of lookup we look up and you know I mean the people actually put lot of lot of efforts in order to accomplish the same that actually I have observed so this is the something you know which will help you a lot in order to creating the bucket in order to creating the aging or anything okay and however you want to create all right let's move to the question number four in question number four you will be able to see I do have a data in a column but in in each you know cell we do have we do have a location but that is something which is concatenated by comma and i want you know these three cells okay where we have a location i want this format to convert it into this format which is in d okay i want to consolidate so if you will see here the noida noida is coming if you, if i will sorry if i will remove so noida up mp delhi which is coming in a column Mumbai UP uh, Mumbai UP GGN and Haryana Mumbai UP GGN and Haryana this is how that we are consolidating the data right that is what actually we need to do so here whatever the data for example you have you need to convert that not you don't need to convert even okay I just converted it into the table you need to just you know select your data and go to the data format in the data tab click here from table and range this will take you to the power query editor all right so here you need to do only one thing okay in the home you will have an option of split column okay and go to the by delimiter all right in delimiter you will have an option that on the basis of what that you want to split the value so comma is something which is you know automatically detected all right it's good good to go so go in advanced option in column instead of column select here rows okay and click on okay simple so this will actually you know will become this automatically will you know split it the values in the rows okay and click on close and load and close and load simple you will be able to see this is how actually we were we wanted right here we wanted if i will paste here you will be able to see 
this is how that we want it and this is how the you guys can create and make make you can you know change the data format okay if we have a format if we want to do such a thing in future or if you guys will face such a thing okay uh in your work so you you guys can solve it you know in such a way all right so i hope guys you know these four question definitely would have something uniqueness right so let's move to the question number five in question number five what i do have see here i i have written here akash okay this is something which is the static will it will not be dynamic formula but dynamic we will learn so here what i want i want this name to to you know in the reverse order for example i want here first h a k a s h this is how that i want something like that i was i want it in the reverse order so how put here mid okay in mid that is the text start number would be from 6 you know here i see 6 why i why i'm starting from 6 because if you will see the akash length is 6 okay the end total length of akash is 6 so 6 5 4 3 2 1 simple okay that is your start number and number of character simple 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 6 times all right this is this is how that you need to may you need to you need to create a formula press enter here only we will have a h okay go in the beginning and use one more formula con concat right and simple click and simple you will be able to see everything we have in the reverse order now you will be able to see right and this is how that we can you know reverse any any word any word but you know this is something so see in this case i know the length is six but can it be also applicable for other words where we have a length you know we have a different different lengths of the values is that possible yes that is possible that i will tell you in the you know in the other videos in the upcoming videos all right so i hope guys these are the five questions which i have picked and uh, i felt this question are completely amazing for you and i would attach this file as well okay you guys can download it and you 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 just keep on doing the practice for such a you know of such a question this will definitely you know keep on adding the skills in your skill set all right so all right guys thank you very much everyone for watching this video and in upcoming videos you know i'm just planning to starting a one series of you know app scripting okay and that I, I will tell you guys then when we need to when i will start okay when i will start this series okay so for the time being again thanks to everyone for watching this video let's meet in the next video with the new topic all right guys bye bye take care